Merry Christmas Eve and welcome to December 24th's uh, reading of the verses related to Advent. I've missed um, a few days this last week uh, and I apologize. Jason and I were married on the 21st and so um, it's been a really exciting time but I wanted to uh, share today's verses and tomorrow Christmas Day with you. Today is the book is Luke uh, chapter 1 verses 67 through 80. Zacharias's prophecy. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the deserts till the day of his shewing unto Israel. Um, through these verses, uh, mercy, um, serve him without fear, and verse 79, uh, part of it, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. Um, Christmas Eve, and I've i um, been trying to think, I read the verses a little earlier today, and I've been trying to think of um, uh, ideas for service today, a very special day. And there are two ideas um, that I have. Uh, uh, quite a few years ago, uh, my stepdad, before he passed away, I think it was uh, Christmas Day, um, he took leftover food that we had, and um, we were in Spring, Texas, and he took leftover turkey and ham, and he drove into Houston, into a very impoverished part of Houston, and, uh, and gave it uh, to a homeless community. And I remember thinking, he drove late that night into Houston, and I remember thinking, what a a kind thing that was to do. And so I remember him today. Uh, and so I'm thinking that we have quite a few uh, uh, sausage, sausage links from our ceremony, our wedding ceremony, and um, they're packaged. And uh, uh, we are going to Mass at six o'clock this evening and um uh we're going going to take them with us and uh, uh our the church that i attend is in central austin and we will give them find um some people that that are outside and give them give them some food for christmas eve uh last night uh, we actually were out uh, driving around downtown and we noticed several people laying on the sidewalks on 6th Street and then the area and um, 
I was thinking about them today. And I'm also, uh, after I post this video, I'm going to make a few blessings bags uh, with some candy, some sweets, a uh, water bottle um, to give with, to give with that. Um, so that's an idea. And then also another idea is to, uh, if there's any way that you have access to serving in a food pantry tonight or tomorrow, that would be a, uh, a really, a really nice thing to do. Uh, uh, my daughter and I served at a food pantry about five years ago in downtown Austin, and it was a wonderful experience. Uh, happy Christmas Eve, and I hope you're having a magical, lovely day. Bye-bye.